I'd like to welcome the next group, Closing the Gap. Hi, we're Closing the Gap. My name is Sarah Potter. I'm a junior at Tech High School. My name is Jessica Calderon. I'm a junior at Phoenix Military Academy. My name is Casey McKenna. I'm a junior at Northside Prep. Hi everyone, I'm Nate Brown. I'm a junior at St. Bider High School. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Cusick and I'm a junior at Yelp Women's Leadership Charter School. I'm Tandoy Norwood and I go to Johnson College Prep. Okay, a little bit about our leadership grant project, uh, Closing the Gap, is our main goal was to stop the isolation between children with disabilities from children without disabilities. So we wanted to get rid of the misconceptions about them and break the social barrier between the two. Our group wanted to create an environment that was both fun and safe where kids could learn together and allow the kids to interact with one another. Okay, so we had a few big challenges at the very beginning. Um, we had sent out emails to dozens and dozens of schools and two answered. and. Um, we ended up getting in touch with a school on the Northwest side called Solomon Elementary. And we had to meet with the principal and it was, we were all very nervous because we're just a bunch of teenagers going into the school trying to start this program. Um, but the principal ended up being really supportive and we all worked together to make this a success. Um, so our first meeting with the school was on, with the kids at the school was on February 28th, and our most recent one was on March 21st. Um, but we want to continue them. Um, and we'd like to thank our wonderful project mentor, Andres, who's back there, crouching. <laughs> um, and he helped us so much with communicating and getting this project started. And we'd also like to thank um, Best Buddies, which is an organization kind of like ours that um, creates one-on-one -on -one friendships between those with and without disabilities. Okay, our first meeting with Solomon was on February 28th, and what we did is we took both um, the special ed class for fifth grade and the regular fifth grade class, and we integrated them together, and we made the children sit with somebody who they were not familiar with, and then we did an icebreaker activity where each kid said something that they liked to do, and then we made collages, which we had a little art gallery show where the kids were allowed to show their collages. It was a great experience because the kids got to help one another and um, we, the kids also got to learn more about each other and some of the kids never talked to the, the special ed kids so it was an overall good experience. Yeah, um, the future goals of closing the gap is to definitely continue and extend our program because we don't feel that we could just like uh, send our message with just two or three meetings with the students. We want to establish a long friendship between the students. So it's like, you can't, that can't happen in just two meetings, that can't happen in just a week. That needs to be, um, we wanna impact their lives. We wanna send a message to them and we wanna send a message to the world, uh, to the world as a whole, even if it's just a, a program, just working with Solomon Elementary and like even having the chance to come over here, have the chance to present it to you guys about closing the gap is something that needs to be said, and um, we also learned a lot from the kids, and I learned a lot about myself, because uh, our goal was to like get rid of the misconceptions, and even I got rid of some of the misconceptions. I thought just because they had uh, certain disabilities, they couldn't do certain things, and I talked to them, and then they talked to me. I made best friends with this little girl, because she really wanted to like hang out with me, because she thought I was pretty cool, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, it was just like so amazing to see like all the bright faces and the kids with disabilities and the kids without disabilities to like come and like be friends. So that's something that we wanted to implement. Uh, okay. So um, these pictures are from our second meeting, and at our second meeting we had the kids draw pictures of each other to show not only that um, everyone has different talents, like either they're good at drawing or not, but that everyone can use their talents to get along and work together. And um, just like Jessica was saying, I'd like to conclude by saying that these kids, just working with them has made us better people and we've learned a lot from them.
Thank you.